Good morning, welcome back to my fifth Vlogmas video. It is very cold, hence why I'm wearing a scarf. Also, maybe because I'm wearing the thinnest piece of cloth again, but it's a nice top. Advent calendars, the 17th. Let's start out with the beauty one first. This is the Caudalie. Oh, this is a cleansing mousse, which I'm very excited about because my facial cleanser is nearly empty. So this is absolutely perfect. Okay, the picture one next. The nativity with, an, with the Annunciation to the Shepherds. It's very beautiful. And then the chocolate one. I just had a very big breakfast. <laughs> So maybe I will save it. Yes, I'm saving this tiny piece of chocolate, but I am just so full. A Christmas tree, lovely. Oh well, maybe I'll eat it. <laughs> but today is very exciting. It's Saturday, I'm going to celebrate my birthday tonight with my family. It's not my birthday today, it's on Tuesday. However, we are already going out for dinner. Um, my brother and my parents, we're going to have sushi. And before that, I'm just going to go into town a little bit to do some last minute shopping and maybe treat myself to a new book as well, because treat yourself. And then tomorrow I'm hosting a Christmas party, which I'm so excited about. I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. I am now going to go for a little walk because the weather is beautiful. Like it's freezing, but the sky is so clear and I just, I can just feel like right now how fresh it's going to be outside. So I'm going to go for a lovely walk. Uh, I'm not going to vlog. I just want to like listen to some music and kind of be in a moment <laughs> and walk and get some fresh air. So yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy this vlog. I just got back home from such a lovely day in The Hague. I bought three books. I went to a Christmas market with my parents. I had sushi for my birthday. My parents also brought me. Can you see? Oh, oh, my skates. Because I read like a couple of days ago, I went ice skating and I had to rent skates because these were still at home. However, they still fit. So now I want to go ice skating again on my proper skates because they feel like so I feel like Ice Princess. The amount of times I've watched Ice Princess when I was younger is crazy but let me show you some of the books I bought um, and yes I'm still wearing my scarf and coat because I'm just freezing the entire day. I've been outside too much today and I'm still frozen to the bone. I went to lots of stores to find a nice pair of PJs however I didn't find any PJs but I did find Something I very much needed. Bought. H&M Home is my favorite thing ever. Look at this Christmas plate. It's so pretty. <laughs> like, do I need a Christmas plate? Absolutely not. But I can already imagine myself putting all the Christmas chocolates on here tomorrow for my Christmas um, dinner with my friends. I also bought a lovely candle. It's called Rich Mahogany. A sophisticated blend of black tea, raspberries, and sandalwood. Oh, it smells amazing. This is also from H&M Home. And lastly, I bought three books. So first of all, I went to this really cool second-hand bookshop in The Hague. I will put a link down below what it's called because I kind of forgot. I don't know if I'm ever going to read these books, but they just honestly looked really cool. And what I liked about these books is that they are very old. The first one is called The Loved One by Evelyn Walk, Walk maybe? And this is one of these really cool penguin editions. But the thing is, let me grab a different one. I'm still wearing my skates, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so look at this. I've got this edition of the picture of Dorian Gray. Then I got the same edition of this one. 
Look, it's a different way round. So I think nowadays you do it this way round, but then with the older books, they put the title the other way around. You know what I mean? Like, right? If you're browsing books, you always look like this. But with these older books, you have to look like this, which mess with my brain. This one is from 1951. I honestly have no clue what this book is about. It just looked cool. And then also I got this play, Pygmalion by Bernard Shaw. Will I ever read this? Uh, probably not. However, you know why I recognize this? Oh, there are like illustrations in there. That's really cool. Have you guys ever seen Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen with Lindsay Lohan and she's talking about Pygmalion? That's how I knew about this play. <laughs> I just like the fact that it's a really old Penguin edition. I don't know, I just wanted to support that bookshop. It looked really cool. There was a really kind old man sitting behind the counter and I'm like, he's doing this with so much love and like having this bookshop that is full of illustrations, by the way, this is really cool. So you never know, maybe I will read this. Let me know if any of you have read any of these two books because I have never and I probably won't but you never know. Then I went to this new bookstore it's called the English Bookshop and it's kind of a, a part of a different bigger bookshop in The Hague. This is in the Passage which was so festive by the way and I don't know I was immediately drawn to this cover because it was so colorful and there was so much to see. It's this cover. <laughs> I don't know why it looked cool like The Years by any or no maybe and this i already took the sticker off but it was the winner of the nobel prize for fiction it says the years is a narrative of the period 1941 to 2006 told through the lens of memory impressions past and present cultural habits language photos books songs radio television advertising and news headlines any events of form that is subjective and impersonal, private and communal, and the new genre, the collective autobiography, in order to capture the passing of time. This year, or like last year up until now, I really became a fan of autobiographies and memoirs. I was very intrigued by this book, so I bought this one. One of the best books you'll ever read. We'll see. So these were the books I bought as well as um, the little Christmassy bits I bought. Definitely had a very lovely day. It was like a perfect winter-ish day even though it's still autumn but it felt like winter because it was freezing. It is only- oh it's a quarter to nine already. I thought it was earlier. It's quarter to nine. I'm now going to get cozy and honestly just chill in bed because I'm very very tired. Still wearing these skates by the way. I think I might go skating this week ice skating. I'm very excited. They feel so much more comfortable than the skates that I rented when I went ice skating last weekend. Um, so I'm very happy I got these again. Okay, so it's much later today on Sunday. As you can see, I decorated the entire table, like set the table. I just got dressed. I'm wearing this really nice new dress that I got at Urban Outfitters. I don't really know if you can see very well. I'll <laughs> show you my mirror. But it has really nice detailing, um, kind of like lace. And I am wearing it over a turtleneck. Otherwise it was just very naked up here and it's also quite cold. So I thought, I'm gonna make it more me by wearing a black turtleneck underneath. But let me quickly show you the table and the dress. So this is what the table looks like. I of course still have to light all the candles. I made these cute name tags and yeah, pretty festive if I say so myself. I went for like a gold, black and red theme. Of course the Christmas tree. This cute plate that I got yesterday at H&M filled with cookies and some chocolates, although all the gingerbread cookies are there for show because they are old. They are like five days old. You can't eat them anymore, but they look really cute. And still very difficult to see. This is the biggest tripod too. <laughs> but it is a really beautiful black lace dress. And then at the bottom, it has like different lengths. 
It's very difficult to show. Oh, you can kind of see the detailing on it. Really beautiful lace. Love it. So now I'm just waiting for my friends to arrive and I'm going to try to film a bit. Of course, I don't want to constantly think of like, oh, I need to film, but I will try to film some Christmassy bits and bobs of this evening. As you can see, I really have to get my fringe cut. Yesterday was honestly such a perfect Christmassy dinner. Oh my goodness, it was so lovely. I had so much fun decorating the table, doing like the food. I did the cocktail, like the welcome cocktail, a little appetizer and then an entree. And then Liora and Quirina did a lovely stew. It's like a vegan stew, it was so good. And then Jolene did a lovely cream and white chocolate and blueberry dessert. So it was honestly a very, very perfect day. Everyone also spoiled each other so much. I got so many lovely Christmassy gifts. I'll quickly show you them. First of all, I got this really cool jar of spices where you can make mulled wine with. I love mulled wine very much. This Christmas tea, you gotta love a good Christmas tea, which I can put in my new Christmas mug. <laughs> Look how cute this one is. Amazing. These super cute Christmas decorations. These are all from Dilla and Camilla, which is honestly one of my favorite stores ever. They're so adorable. So I'm gonna hang them somewhere like right now. It's actually really good that we didn't do this on Christmas Eve because now I can still use all of these Christmassy bits and bobs. Then these incredibly cute teaspoons. And look at the tops. It says a bee and a beautiful flower. They look so magical and I can put them in my new mug. And this is also really cool. This is a, a candle, a scented candle. And this is the Oscar Wilde one. It smells like a really fresh aftershave. Honestly, men's scents are always so nice. Aftershave and perfume. So this is perfect. By the way, I forgot to show you what I got in my Edmund calendar this morning. This is a texturizing salt spray by Bullman, Bullman? I never know how to pronounce it, but I used it today and I'm really liking it. It also smells so good. So this is very exciting. I haven't used a salt spray in a very long time, but it's given me lots of volume. So that's nice. Um, today is Monday. It is my birthday tomorrow. So I'm going to try to work a lot today so I don't have to do anything tomorrow, which means I can just relax because it's my birthday. So I just want to do nothing and chill. So today I just packed lots of orders. I am going to the Swan Market store in The Hague where I sell my products because I'm going to work there today from one till six and I'm also going to restock. Not very many special things today, just working a bit. I forgot to show you two more gifts because I already put them on my bookshelf. This really pretty, kind of like a crystal I think or a gem or like, I don't know if that's the same thing, but it looks so pretty on my bookshelf. And also this really cool candle. At first I thought it's a soap, but it's actually a candle and look on here. There's a little witch just walking around, honestly. How cute, I don't think I'm going to light this because I don't want it to, you know, get ruined, but this is so adorable. Okay, now I do have to get all my stuff and go to The Hague. Good morning, it's the 20th of December, which means it's my birthday today. I turned 27. Sounds old, doesn't really feel old to be honest. So, all good. This morning, it's honestly like 9.30. I did a little bit of work, but now I'm done for today because I want to just relax and, you know, not work. However, because all my friends and family 
it's a Tuesday, so everyone has to work. I won't be going to my parents' house until like late afternoon. So I think during the day, I'm just going to have a lovely self-care day. I'm probably going to have lunch somewhere, read my book, because I don't really have that many plans. I don't really celebrate my birthday um, too much. Like last Saturday, I went out for dinner with my parents and my brother. So um, I already kind of celebrated it then. And then tonight, I'm going back to my parents' house and my brother will be there as well, as well as my grandma. And then on Thursday, I'm going to celebrate it with my booktube friends. Um, they'll be coming over to my place. So just a few small bits here and there. However, on my actual birthday right now, I'm not going to be doing much, but I am going to check what's in my advent calendar. And I also got a lovely gift from someone from Amazon. Let me see. We wish you a happy birthday. Have fun reading. Much love and kisses. Nina und Dani from Nina und Dani. I'm going to see if they've got um, an Instagram. Let's see which book is in here. Yes, this was on my wish list. It's called The Promise by Damon Galgood. And this is the 2021 Booker Prize winner. I have to say, I don't really know what it's about, but I heard that it's very good. So thank you so much for sending me this one. This is so freaking sweet. Okay, my battery is nearly empty, so I'm gonna do this quick. A really small one. Ooh, a setting powder by Hourglass. That is nice. A translu translucent setting powder. This actually comes in really handy because I now use this a lot underneath my eyes because sometimes the mascara, if I'm like having oil on my face, like face oil, waterproof mascara still runs because it's oil. And then if I set it, it doesn't run. This is nice. I've never used anything by Hourglass before. Very fancy. <laughs> Love this. This is the Madonna of Humility. A beautiful little painting. And then lastly, a chocolate, a little Father Christmas chocolate. I honestly don't think I'm going to be filming much today. I really just want to chill, live in the moment, just don't really think about filming and have a little self-care day. And I'm honestly really excited. So right now, I'm just going to zone out <laughs> and relax. I'm now going to eat my chocolate and enjoy my birthday. Well, okay, it's a few days later, it's the 22nd of December. I had a very, very lovely birthday. I spent it just with my family and in the afternoon, I went out for lunch by myself. I just had a lovely afternoon, like reading my book at this cafe and having lunch, which was perfect. This is going to be the end of my final vlog in this video. However, I will include a fun little sequence of when my friends are coming over tonight to also celebrate my birthday. I'm going to make a lovely charcuterie charcuterie i think um board for dinner and it's going to be a really exciting evening with my booktube friends so i will include that at the end of this video but i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching all of my festive vlogmas videos there weren't as many as i hoped i would upload but there's still five and i personally really just love making these kind of festive videos and showing you you know my december and what i'm doing so i really hope you liked it too if you do please do give it a thumbs up and if you want to comment something but you don't know what to comment comment a christmas tree emoji i am so excited for this weekend because it's christmas and i really hope you're having a lovely holiday weekend too if you're celebrating with friends and family and also if you don't celebrate any holidays i hope you're having a lovely self-care weekend and I will see you in my next video. But now let's go to the final part of my birthday celebration.